Dragon is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yan po ang ating aksyon this coming Friday here at the arena. FEU taking on San Sebastian. Yan po at sa battle of the uh, champions of ng ating dalawang liga. And of course, Adamson against St. Benil still looking for their first win. That is right here at the arena. You see the game times on your screens. At ito nga kaibigan, eh, we'd like to thank our friends from Shakey's. If it's fun, family pizza, it's gotta be Shakey. 16-14, FEU up by 2 against Ateneo. And it has been an uphill struggle para dito sa kumpuna ng Ateneo to even get the lead at this point. They are taller, they are more experienced than this FEU team. But somehow, FEU is putting points together. Well, why? Because in terms of unforced errors, Ateneo has 8 as compared to only 3 for FEU. They, even if they leave in attacks 9-7, they have committed more unforced errors, which is why FU right now is ahead. At ito, nakita naman natin yung depensa doon ni Tolentino at saka ni Morata able to stop Kanjana. Offensively, no check ball called here again. These, uh, these two teams have been looking for check balls here. So 16-15 FEU as we turn it over to Topics Robinson. No, no, no. Three things lang coming from Coach uh, Mick Mick Laborte. Good receive, good set, at magandang palo, syempre. Because they know that they have that at height advantage. So they want to play deliberate volleyball at this point of the game. Uh, mapapansin din natin, medyo they focus their, uh, their offense on uh, Ginger at Kachana. I guess the uh, coach is giving her the ball to bring back her confidence. Guys, back to you. I think that's a good move by Mick Mick Laborte at this point. They need Kachana to be dominant. And that one is in on the attack Vivas. coming from Cherry Vivas. They do need Kanchana to be dominant here. Al naalala natin dati no si Cassini. The mere, the mere fact that you see Cassini on court, talagang the, the defense is not. Kanchana has not demanded that kind of respect from the defense of uh, FEU at least. Well, of course, she's been silent again due to her injury. But as, as you were saying, uh, that's a good move for uh, Coach Victor Morton. Because like her coming from in an injury, she needs to gain her points. And a substitution here once again as Pani Taganas will return for Limeco. So Carla Bello will be serving FU ahead by one. 17 to 16. It's actually good news for FU because you know Morada hasn't has, I mean has been silent mm, in this match. So to find themselves ahead is already, you know, it's lucky for them. It has been a combination of all of the players. Turns back by the defense of Soriano and Acevedo. Tied at 17 once again. Ito yung no entry. Well, that's right. It's a good block, but you should notice yung coverage ng FU lahat na sa front line. Mm -hmm. In any in any spike coverage, at least one or two should be should remain in the back. Kasi support yan eh. Well, Bello right now with the serve. Gonzalez. Tolentino gives up the free ball. Canchana. Bello, quick set to Soriano. Taking a page out of San Sebastian's playbook. That's right. And uh, it's, not, it's not all the time you see Bello. I'm uh, sorry, you see Soriano hit the quick, normally open spike. That's yeah. right. So 18 to 17, as we thank our president Axel, the official officer of the Shakey's V League. Coming into the season, you had in your lineup Josephine Cafranca, Wendy Ansimana, Rachel Andakis. And all of a sudden now, you have a bunch of teenagers left and you must fight. Well, that's right. And it's especially coming from a UAP championship. Right. You know that people are expecting so much from this squad and then you have a bunch of kids as you were saying. But you know, coach is a veteran oh, and he is crap. So you know, that mere challenge is you know, something for him to work on and uh, he'll take on it. Ah! And here's the battle at the net and Soriano touched the net so that will be a point against Ateneo. Tapla na naman pa, uh, po tayo dito mga kaibigan, 18 all. 18 all. And now Cherry May Vivas will be serving for FTU. Paganas, Bello, back set, Soriano running spike which is what she loves to do. That's right, a very very beautiful uh, spike there for Soriano. Good coordination coming from a good service reception so you can see in this play. Good service reception, good set, and Soriano finishes yes, that play. Ang tawag na lang yan, amo yan eh. Alam nyo na kung saan sila, kung saan kayo kailangan pumuesto. Yun know, yung sinasabi ni Topex na nireport niya about what Coach Mick said. Isang magandang receive, isang magandang set will result in a nice kill or a nice kill. And it also starts with defense for Ateneo and that time, 19 all. nakalusot na naman, nakapuntos na naman itong kupuna ng uh, FEU. Tied at 19. Here's Mary Gail Tolentino. She is serving 17 years old. 
Ganun lang gawin natin. Tuwing may nagsaserve sa FEU, sabihin natin kung anong edad. <laughs> para ma-appreciate ng tao yung effort Oo. na ginagawa nitong FEU ngayon. Here's Jose. Setting up. Gonzalez. That one drops on the Ateneo side. Paddy Tagana tips it over. And the coverage just got there for FEU. That's right. It was saved by FEU. And again, they go to Taganas, and again, Tolentino able to dig that one up. Here's Cabanac, Soriano, Bello attacking. Again, the coverage just gets there. Cabanac, long rally shaping up here. Long get so far. Yep. Taganas keeps it alive. Jose. And that will do it. 